Professor Victor Falkenheim, a longtime friend of Bernie and colleague, University of Toronto. Professor Emeritus of Political Science and East Asian Studies at University of Toronto, where Victor has taught since 1972. Victor was educated at Princeton and Columbia, and he served twice as the chair of the Department of East Asian Studies at U of T, as well as director of the Joint Center for Modern East Asia. And so Vic, the institution building, right, we can see, yeah, the ties. Vic's research interests and publications center on local politics and political reform in China. And for the last decades, last two decades, with a particular focus on citizen participation and local government reforms. Vic's research is published in the most august journals in China and Asia studies and comparative communisms fields. China Quarterly, Asian Survey, Studies in Comparative Communism, Problems of Communism, and chapters in numerous edit, edited volumes. I also remember Professor Falkenheim for his lecturing in China, but also his work with CETA and the World Bank during the 1980s, the 1990s, and 2000s. Thank you, Victor. Yeah, I'd like to begin with felicitations to the birthday boy. Uh, and I'd like to thank the organizers for this splendid opportunity for all of us to pay proper uh, and deserved tribute to our academic elders. Uh, the, uh, uh, in the Confucian terms, uh, Lao uh, uh And my admiration also to the uh, uh, organizers for keeping this successfully a secret for so long. Uh, 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 I, I was about to begin by talking about the vantage point and maybe the advantage that I had as being approximately this same vintage as our esteemed colleague. Uh, 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 but I now feel handicapped in uh, having listened to the, the first th tributes. Uh, these were all his students, uh, uh, and they benefited. I sort of, we, we worked together as colleagues, uh, 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 and I don't have quite the same range of, of personal stories, uh, but we, uh, uh, but I, uh, uh, I'm second to none in my admiration for your work uh, uh, over the over the years, uh, and I'd like to kind of begin with with some of the uh, uh, the kind of reflections by uh, Jeremy, Jeremy and Paul about sort of uh, Canada China uh, and and the role of sort of sinologists, uh, former uh, students of communist politics. Uh, when in the early Cold War period, when I was beginning my study of both China and, uh, and the Soviet Union, they used to say, uh, and when I was a graduate student, particularly at Columbia, uh, uh, that, there was a re that there was a difference between those who studied the Soviet Union and those who studied China. Those who studied the Soviet Union uh, uh, virtually universally hated the country. Uh, they hated the system. They, uh, uh, and those who studied China, uh, uh, a very similar system in many regards, loved the country, uh, uh, loved the culture, and loved the people. Uh, and in some ways, it created a kind of blind spot for us in terms of uh, the equivalence of moral judgments about the nature of the, uh, of, of the two systems. Uh, uh, and another saying from that same period, uh, those of us who were uh, optimists, uh, pessimists, Optimists studied the Soviet Union. Uh, those of us who were pessimists studied China. Uh, 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 and of course, that judgment has been reversed, I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, arguably. Yeah. Uh, uh, so in, in crafting this remark, these remarks, I thought I, I did have something of an advantage being of, a, of the same kind of fossil status that, that Jeremy uh, referred to. Uh, uh, we share, uh, you know, Common experiences over the, the over the years, a <coughs> shared intellectual baptism in communist and Soviet studies during the Cold War, the same long apprenticeship in the documents at the universe, the Union Research Institute in Hong Kong, uh, the same experience interviewing uh, at refugee centers in Hong Kong over the years, and uh, and. Uh, uh, and the many uh, convivial as well as hardworking hours beavering away in the, in the, in the offices, those small warrens of the University Service Center in, in Kowloon. Uh, uh, and perhaps the same experience of, uh, of a Mao era China in the early 1970s that has now, uh, has now vanished. Uh, uh, I think one of uh, you know, Bernie's major contributions to our field that uh, has been touched on, but, but I think needs elaboration, uh, is his role in the University Service Center. 
Uh, that service center was absolutely pivotal to the, de to the development of social science studies on China uh, for many, many decades. Uh, uh, Bernie was there, made his mark there. He was a director, uh, a board member, a constant advocate and defender. Uh, uh, and he managed somehow, together with Ezra and others, uh, to get funding for that critically important institution. Uh, and it was, uh, and he negotiated, helped to negotiate its transfer ultimately to the Chinese University of Hong Kong, uh, where it continues to uh, serve uh, the interests of virtually all scholars working on contemporary China. Uh, uh, that's an, an extraordinary achievement. Uh, it also occurs to me when we're talking about our common sort of, uh, you know, fossil status. Uh, that we share uh, the experience of relatively recent uh, uh, rehab, uh, Bernie for his hip, uh, me for my knees, uh, uh, and we exchanged, you know, uh, uh, you know, so solicitous uh, uh, inquiries over a period of some some time. So, uh, 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 so, uh, and and as uh, uh, you know, my uh, my colleagues and my other panelists have mentioned. He distilled his experience with refugee interviewing in, into one of the truly illumi illuminating portraits of life in that era uh, in Mao's China. Uh, uh, Mao's People, uh, a remarkable book that displayed his gift of observation, his fluent pen, his ability to write, uh, to speak to both scholars and a wider popular audience. Uh, uh, the, uh, and that sort of was a remarkable kind of, you know, path-breaking uh, contribution. Uh, at the time I was in, uh, at the University Service Center, which I think predated your time there in the 60s, but also I was there again in the 1970s. Uh, at the time uh, when we, we met, uh, I was teaching in the United States. I had no idea that I would ultimately wind up in Toronto as a, as a colleague. Uh, in what, in what was then our inter-university joint project, you know, sort of established in the early 1970s with Bill Sewell, Bernie Froelich, uh, and, and others. Uh, the, initially the Joint Center on Modern East Asia, uh, later evolving into JCAPS, the Joint Center for Asia-Pacific Studies. Uh, uh, and the contribution of, uh, of that center uh, in the formation and assisting in the establishment of the Asia-Pacific Foundation of Canada in the development of the Canada Pacific Program under uh, in the Moroni period, uh, these were signal achievements. I think of the center in which Bernie was a director uh, at least two or three times, if I recall, uh, uh, and certainly in its last most uh, flourishing uh, flourishing years. Uh, it was a vehicle, an arena in which Bernie could display his awesome entrepreneurial energy. Uh, 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 you know, quite remarkable, raised enormous amounts of money, uh, and to the dismay of almost all of us who were at this joint center at the time, uh, it, uh, well, it collapsed uh, at the very moment of your, you know, your finest hour in triumph, you know, as a result of, uh, uh, I think initially there were many factors, but uh, U of T's uh, imperial ambitions. Uh, uh, and uh, the I think, you know, in the end, perhaps, you know, the, the, uh, uh, what Wycar has accomplished may, may sort of say that, you know, it was not a bad decision, but in, in, uh, 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 it is some personal bitterness, you know, Bernie, I think, is above that bitterness, uh, but I, on his behalf, I thought he, he had, uh, 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 you know, it, it was uh, uh, badly done. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, one notable form of our collaboration, I think, uh, uh, that I particularly appreciate was a kind of musical chairs, uh, chairs that we played with our respective PhD students. Uh, uh, oh, I've, I've sat on many of Bernie's uh, as an external examiner, uh, Greg among, uh, uh, among them, uh, and he has been external examiner to, uh, to generations of my PhD students from Charles Burton to Alfred Chan to Sonny Lowe to Ma Shu Yun. Uh, the uh, always uh, offering them not the, the Jewish withholding father syndrome, uh, uh, but uh, well, perhaps actually, uh, 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 but support, encouragement, gentle criticism, uh, and and 
uh, and help when it comes to finding jobs uh, and placements. He was, he's uh, remarkably helpful. And, and actually over the, the, the last uh, five or ten years or maybe more, even you know, more years than that, when undergraduates come to me and they say, I want to work on Canada-China relations, I uh, send them to Bernie. Uh, and he has never turned them down. He offers them all the time in the world, uh, and they come back to me and, and say, why aren't you like that? No, no, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're uh, so, um, uh, so Bernie, you've been a model, actually, you know, I think for all of us, uh, uh, indefatigable energy, uh, teaching, organizing, researching, writing, generous and supportive colleague, uh, and I thought that David uh, Zweig would come up with the term, but uh, uh, I'm glad he didn't. You know, uh, Bernie, you're a mensch. Uh, uh, the, uh, uh, that's why we're all here, uh, uh, in addition to, obviously, your academic contribution. Uh, uh, you know, we all love you. Uh, anyway, this is embarrassing, sentimental. Um, you're probably quite uncomfortable with it. Uh, so, uh, yeah. uh, in, in any event, uh, 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 in Chinese, you know, Shunri Kwai Law. Happy birthday. Yes. Great. Yes. Great.